She's an avid knitting fan, and Julia Roberts was spotted arriving on the Gold Coast set of her upcoming movie, Ticket to Paradise, with a bag of supplies on Tuesday. The 54-year-old Hollywood actress stepped out of a van clutching a bag full of knitting supplies, including a cream piece she'd been working on. Julia is renowned for knitting in between takes during long days spent on film sets. Also contained in her transparent shopping bag was her mobile phone and a glasses case. The Pretty Woman star was seen conversing with a crew member as she walked to the film set surrounded by a small entourage. She was dressed in business attire, stepping out in a pair of grey tailored shorts, which she wore with a matching blazer and black button-up shirt. Julia rounded out her ensemble with a pair of black high-heeled brogues and black wayfarer sunglasses, and her long hair was styled loose. The Oscar-winning actress appeared relaxed as she walked in between palm trees, holding her blazer tightly closed in front of her. Filming on the project commenced last month on the Gold Coast and in Brisbane, before moving to the Whitsundays shortly afterwards. It was revealed back in March that Julia and co-star George Clooney were heading to Australia to film the hotly anticipated project. The film received a $6.4 million grant from the federal government's Location Incentive Program. George, 60, and Julia play a divorced couple who travel to Bali in a desperate bid to stop their daughter, played by Caitlin Dever, from getting married. The movie also stars Billy Lord as Dever's best friend, who travels with her to Bali, where she decides to marry a local. The two-month project will be filmed entirely in Queensland, with the picturesque Quit Sundays doubling for Bali. The production is expected to generate $47 million for the Australian economy and create more than 270 jobs. Ticket to Paradise is written and directed by Ole Parker, who helmed the best exotic Marigold Hotel and Mamma Mia! Here we go again! Julia jetted into Australia in October, spending her quarantine period at a $56.9 million mansion in Sydney's Vaucluse. She spent Christmas in Sydney with her husband of 19 years, Danny Mudder, and the couple's three children, twins Phineas and Hazel, 17, and Henry, 14.